Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salem. In this video, I'm going to talk about the methods to create array. In this lecture, I will cover five methods. The first one is list of number in a square bracket. The second is colon. The third one is using line space. The fourth one is using zeros and ones and the i. And the fifth one is using random and random integer. Let's start the video. Before talking about these five methods, first of all, we should know that in MATLAB, all the variables we used is defined or assigned as array. And in the array, to understand the meaning of array, so the array is every data in MATLAB is stored in array. And based on the shape or the size of the that data, it will have maybe special name. For example, if we have only one number, we call that scalar. So the scalar, it means that we only have one number. So if we say x equal 5, and 5 is only one number, so x is scalar, because we store only one number. And if we need to consider the series of number in only row direction or column direction, for example, these three, eight, two, it's arranged in a row vector. So we can call that row vector. Or we can arrange the numbers in a column direction, for example, minus 2, 5, and 0.1. This is the column vector. So if the data is one dimension, if it's one row or one column, we call it vector. And if the data is in two-dimensional array, it means that we have several rows and several columns, and that's it. And in that sense, we say this is 2D matrix. So the array will called matrix. And if the data is more than that, for example, if it's three dimension or n dimension, I mean four or five or etc. In that sense, we call array, and in some cases we call also matrix. So the 3D, for example, is consists of several rows and several columns and several layers so this is first layer this is second layer so it's rows columns and layers and of course the number of layer could be two three four etc any time any number and let's consider some example to show why the for example multi-dimensional array 2d or 3d or the vector is important for example if we check this true color image, this is for Kyoto City. And actually, to understand this true color, it's actually not a true color. It is kind of composition or it's combination of three layers of the red layers and the green layers and the blue layers. So we have three layers and these three layers we stack together to have the true colors. And each of these layer is actually not a drawing. It is actually numbers. So if we closely look, and if we look to this image on the BC, we can of course see the image, but the BC stored this image as a numbers. So for example, this red layers is actually divided to several rows and several columns. And every like intersection between rows and columns is kind of a pixel. So usually we hear about the pixel. So the pixel is kind of the, the, the place which hold the, the value. So we have here several pixel. Each pixel is having the numbers. So each layers from red, green, and blue, they have kind of 2D data. And two-dimensional data, they stored kind of intensity of the color. Like, for example, in the red color, and what is the range, for example, from 0 to 255, we have the range for that. And if we stack these three layers of numbers together, we will have this kind of a 3D data. So this is actually how we stored the digital image on the, the, our computers. It's kind of a numbers. So we need to know how to store numbers in not a single number or not a scalar, but in a vector or the kind of a matrix or array, multidimensional array. But in this course, at least in several lectures, we only consider the vectors and the matrix was 2D. We will not consider the 3D data. And for the methods to create array, the first method is use the list of number with the square brackets. For example, 
if we need to create the row vector for example it is just very easy write the number you need elements is mean numbers inside the square brackets and separated this element using the space or a comma for example if you check this example in this example the x is equal to we put one and then we separated that using the space so one space two space three space four and after that we put the square brackets outside outside this values so we write the numbers and between the number we put space if we just write that and press enter in the command window we will have the like the output from the matlab it say that the x is equal one two three four and instead of using the space we can use something called a comma so if we write one comma two comma three comma four and then closing all of these inside the square brackets matlab will define that as one two three four posts are exactly the same and matlab showing for us without even if we use a comma even we use a comma it's shown the output with some space there is no comma shown so i prefer to use the space not the comma and to create the column vector for the column vector we write the element we need which is mean for example numbers inside the square brackets and separated the element using semicolon or press enter to have a new line for example if we write x which is square brackets and then we write one semicolon two semicolon three semicolon and four inside the square brackets it will shown as a column vector which means one two three four and if we instead of putting the semicolon we press enter so we write x equal to one and then press enter two press enter three press enter and then four and close the square bracket the output will be exactly the same so both are the same but i also prefer using the semicolon so i prefer to use the space to separate it the element in the row vector and i prefer to use the semicolon to create the column vector and to create a 2D matrix, it means several rows and several columns. For example, let's consider this one. We have three rows and four columns with these numbers. We need to create it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. To do that, for the 2D, we need to write the numbers inside the square brackets. And we will put the numbers in the one rows and separated this rows using the space so for example one space two space three space and then semicolon to have the next row and then five space six space seven space eight space semicolon so we are right here and then nine space ten eleven twelve and then close the comma so we separated the number in 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 one row using the space and separated different rows using the semicolon and it is straightforward let's practice so let's open MATLAB and try to create the following three elements which is vector A it's a row vector vector B which is the column vector and the matrix, matrix C which is the two rows and three columns so if we open MATLAB I already open MATLAB this is the normal window for MATLAB and of course, for example, in the first example, we ask it, it was asked to write A, which is equal to 3 minus 1, 0, 90. Of course, we can write it here. For example, I can write A, it's equal to, and then both square brackets, 1 is, uh, sorry, minus 3 space minus 1 space and 0 space and then 90 and then close the square brackets if we in that sense we run press enter so a is stored here with a value 3 minus 1 0 90 and please note that even if we use like for example if we rewrite again and we put many many space it will not affect if we just press enter it will define a is the same exact value it doesn't change he removed the element but I don't prefer to use the command window with a workspace for our exercise. I created another file using the live script. I will distribute it in Microsoft Teams. 
just open it and you will have the question here so it will be easy to do exercise and write the output as we learned in the live script and have the output on right or in line based on our preference here's the output in line or the output on the right i prefer on the right so again we can write a it is equal to and then we put square brackets and then in this time let's use the comma so we can write three comma and then minus one comma and then zero comma and then 90 and print run section to run only this section we can click here or press run section if we run the section we will have a is equal to 3 minus 1 0 90 and please note that even if, if we use mini space it will not affect it it will consider the same value so we sometimes it's better to use some space for just creating a better appearance so we just put some space and run the section exactly the same value we just using the space to adjust and the second example create a column vector called b and with the shown value so here b it's equal to and then open square brackets and write 22 of course this is column we should use semicolon or enter let's first check the semicolon semicolon and of course if we add space as we mentioned it doesn't affect and then 10 and then semicolon and then minus 200 and then run the section we will have column vector of b 22 10 and minus 200 and if we need to check with for example if we put semicolon and then run the section again just we disappear now we don't have b and then if we press enter and then write p is equal to and then square brackets and then write 22 enter and then 10 enter and then minus 200 and then press run section we will have exactly the same answer and when it, which which tools you you prefer for example they're using semicolon or press enter for the separating the rows please use post it's exactly the same and for the third example create a matrix named c with this value so we can say c is equal to open square brackets and then the first row is five six seven so we can write five space six space seven and then semicolon and then for the second row it's eight space nine space and then ten and then run the section we will have here run the section and we have here c five six seven eight nine ten it's straightforward piece of cake let's go back and continue if i press ok this is the output and then this is important note so please note that in matlab you can perform evaluation and calculation and also we can use the predefined variable inside the square brackets for example if we say that x is equal 36 and y is equal 4 and we use a semicolon to suppress the output so x and y is scalar it, it's predefined and then we need to define the new matrix it's called mat and this mat is having like the first element is the square root of x 20 and then semicolon between the second row and then factorial y and x plus y it's very easy so matlab will use square root of x and x is 36 so square root of 36 it would be 6 it put here and then 20 is a straightforward number he put here semicolon is a new row and then factorial y y is 4 so it will computing factorial 4 is 4 multiplied to 3 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 1 it will be 24 here and then x divided by y x is 36 divided by y which is 4 the output is 9 so 9 is here so in summary we can inside the square brackets not only defined by hand by numbers we can use the predefined variables like x and y and we can use the function inside that square brackets let's write so we need to create the column vector name x the first element is square root of, x, of 10 and the second element is pi square to do so let's go to the, our live script we will have the example here we need to create x which is 
column vector, so we bought square brackets. The first element is a square root of 10. And the second element, this is not comma, semicolon, because the column vector. And second one is pi, and pi we defined as a pi to the power 2. And then run the section, we will have this output. So it is, we can use square root or any function inside the square brackets. This is the output. And for the second method to create array, we use the column. Let's check that. For the column, the column, it is kind of, we defined, we write in the general form, the first number we need, and then column, and then the spacing, and then colon, and then the last number. Or the another form is, and instead of writing the space, we can remove the spacing, and just writing first number, and colon, and last number. In that sense, if we didn't mention what is the spacing, the spacing will be 1. And please note that the square bracket is optional, so we can remove these square brackets to define using the colon. Let's check the example. For example, in the first example here, the a is equal to open square brackets and close it, and then write 1 colon 2 colon 8. It means starting from 1 with increment 2 or the spacing 2, and then the end is 8. So the output will be 1, this starting point, and adding 2, it will be 3, adding 2, it will be 5, adding 2, it will be 7. If we try to add 2, it will be 9. It is more than 8, so he stop at 7. And if we check the second example, the b is equal to 1.5 and colon 0.2 colon 2.7. So the start is 1.5. Here is the start. And we add every time 0.2. So 0.2 with 1.7, it will be 1.5 plus 0.2, it will be 1.7. 0 0.2, 1.9, 0 0.2, 2.1, 2.3, 2.5, up to 2.7. In this example, please note that we use decimal spacing, which means 0 0.2. It's not integer number. And please note that we, we write this example without using the square brackets. So there was no square brackets here. In the third example, we write c is equal to 15 colon minus 3 colon to 3 start point is 15 end point is 3 and the spacing is minus 3 so the start is 15 and adding every time minus 3 it means this time we have a negative spacing so 15 minus minus 3 it's giving 12 minus 3 9 minus 3 6 minus 3 3 to the end point which is here and for the last example we have d is equal to minus 2 colon 2. Here we have only two conditions. So in this case, we have here, we have the start and the end or the last without the spacing. So the spacing in this time will be defined as 1 because it doesn't mention. So we start at point 2, minus 2, and then going to adding 1 to minus 1, adding 1, 0, and then 1, and then 2 to the, this is the last number. And in this example, create the following 2 by 3 matrix. It means 2 rows and 5 columns. It's named X. And don't type each element explicitly. So we don't need to put the square brackets and then write 1 space, 3 space, 5 space, 7 space, 9 space, semicolon, and then define the second row. No. We need to find either any relation to use the, for example, the column. If we check closely here, we can find that from 1 to 3 increment or the spacing 2, 3 to find the spacing is 2, 5 to 7, 2, 7 to 9, 2. So we can make a column from start point is 1, spacing is 2, and the end is 9. And if we check the second row, the start is 20, and the end is 40, and the increment between each line is 5. So we can start from 20 to 40, and every time is 5. Let's write that in our live script. In the live script, we can write x is equal to, and then square brackets, 
the first line we should define as starting is one and then colon and then the spacing is two and then colon and the last number is nine and then semicolon because this is the second line and give space for visualization and then starting is 20 and then the increment is 5 and then the last number is 40 and if we run the section we will have 1 3 5 7 9 20 25 30 35 40 so we we, we run that and this is the answer and the third method to create array is using the line space. Line space is very similar to the column and with a slightly small difference. Let's check. So the general form for line space is line space and then the first number, comma. So we, here we use comma, not a column. And then last number. So the order also not the same. So first number, comma, last number, comma and then the number of element we need and uh, also we use here the parentheses not the square brackets so the difference is we use the parentheses not square brackets we use comma not the not the colon and the order is not the same so here line space first number comma last number comma nine number of elements and there is another form for the line space which is the first number and the last number but if we didn't mention how many element, so the number, how many element, it will be default 100. And these notes we use comma. Let's consider the first example. In the first example, so the x is equal to line space from 0 start, comma, to 10 is the end or the last, and comma is 5, and 5 is the number of elements. So started from 0 in that 10 number of element 5 1 2 3 4 5 and the spacing it will be he will add automatically so it is 0 2.55 10 with total number is 5 and in the second example we use y is equal to line space from 12 the start point 0 is the end point and the number of elements 4 in this case this is decreasing no problem the start is 12 and the end is 0 and the number of elements here is 4 elements which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's automatically it, it defined that. And if we check this example, this notes it's saying that again inside the square brackets we can mix between, we, we learned it before that we can mix inside the square bracket the function the colon and also we can mix between colon and the, the line space so here we define x as equal to and y is equal to 81 and the mat which is a matrix we inside here we use a square brackets and then we have this element and then semicolons mean new row and this element and then semicolons mean new row and these elements it's kind of three rows if we closely look at the first row, it's line space from the start point is minus 2, end point is 2, and the number of elements is 3. So start minus 2, end is 2, and number element is 3, so minus 2, 0, 2. And for the second one, we use x squared, so x is 2, 2 squared, it's 4. And square root of y, y is 81, square root of 81 is 9. And the 15 we write, we put 15 here. For the third row, we start from 100 with increasing 40 every time. So 100 plus 40 is one, one, 140, plus 40 is 180. If we try to add 40, it will be 220, which is bigger than 200. So we stop here. So this example clarified that we can mix between line space, colon, and the function inside the square brackets. So let's practice. For the these two example, we need to use the line space function to create one. The first one is two by five matrix. So two rows, five columns. And it's the name is X and with the following value, which is this value. 
This is exactly the same as the previous example we defined with the with the, the, the like the, the column. So the spacing here is increasing every two, and the spacing here is increasing every five. So we need to use line space this time. And for the second example, we need to create row vector. Its name is force, and it containing nine elements: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine element. And all element is four. Let's check this how to do that in MATLAB. So in MATLAB, this is the previous example. We use here column. We are going to repeat again, but this time with line space. So we can write x is equal to, and then open square brackets, and then line line space. It's it's like this is auto completion. We can select it from here. It's already ready for us. And then we can write, and he gave hint x1, x2, and the number of elements. So the x1 it's one, and the final is nine. And the number of element is five because one, two, three, four, five. We finish the first element, semicolon for the second row, and give space. This just for visualization. Again, line space. It's we can complete or just select. And then write first element is 20, last element is 40, how many element is five, and then in this time run the section. We will have exactly the same answer. One, three, five, seven, nine. Here, one, five, three, one, three, five, seven, nine, and twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. It is exactly the same. For the second example, we need to use a line space to create the 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 fours matrix. So in that sense, we are going to define the matrix as fours. So the name is fours. So we write fours. And then it's equal to, we can write line space, again we can just select, and in this time we need the start and end, but the start and end and all element is the same, it's no problem. Start is 4, the end is 4, and the number of elements is 9, just like, like that, and just run, and we will have, if we just make it bigger, we can check, yes, we have all the elements 4 from the start to the end, and number of elements is 9. Let's go back. These are the answers. And the fourth method to create array is use zeros or ones and i. Let's check that. So the zeros, ones and i can be used to create vector and matrix. Actually, i only matrix, but let's check. If we consider first the zeros, so in the zeros case, it is have two form, two general form. The first one is zeros of n, which means it will create a square matrix with n rows and columns. So it will create square matrix, number of rows is n, number of columns is n, and all the element is zero. For example, let's check this example. If we say x is equal to zeros of two, so it will create the Two by two, two rows, two columns, matrix, all the element is zeros. And if we check the second one, which is zeros of M and N, it creates a matrix of M rows and N columns. So M rows, N columns, all elements are zero. Let's check the following example. If we say the Y is equal to zeros of two rows and three columns, so we created two rows and three columns, and all the elements are zeros. If we check the ones, ones is exactly the same as zeros except that the, all the elements will be ones. So if we write ones of n, it will create a square matrix of n rows and n columns, all elements are ones. For example, if we check this, x is equal to ones of two, so it will create a square matrix of two rows and col two columns, all elements are ones. And if we check the second one, which is ones of M and N, it will create a matrix of M rows and N columns, so rows and columns. And all elements are ones. If we check the following example, in which the Y is equal to ones of 2, 3, so 
two, one, two comma three it created two rows and three columns or element are ones if we check the last one which is i the i of n it will create the square matrix of n rows and n columns and all the element is zero except of the diagonal it will be ones for example if we check the following example if we write z is equal to i of three it will create three rows three columns or element is zero except for the main diagonal which is the upper left to lower right this diagonal will be ones so the main diagonal to be ones all our element is zeros let's practice so create the following matrix without typing individual elements so we don't need to write the square matrix and then define every element by our hand we need to find the relation with them for the first one we need to create two rows by four columns matrix and the name is x and having the following values all the element is 100 in that sense we need to find how to do that and for the second we need to create the three by four three rows four columns and the name is y with the following value the first two rows is zeros the third one is eight six four two it kind of it's having the relation between two increment or the starting eight and the two and we can use the line space with four numbers let's try to do that in using the matlab Here we are in the live script. In the first example, we need to create the two rows by four columns or are 100. So it is, if we think, it's kind of if we use the, all the elements is kind of, if we use once, once it create all the members or all the elements at one. And if we multiply to 100, we will have all 100. So we can write X is equal to, it is once, of two rows and then three, four columns now we finish and if we do that let's run this part we will have two by four but all ones what if if we write multiply to 100 so in that sense if we run again we will have all 100 this is one possibility other possibility we can do this this so we can comment that one and then we can write x is equal to if we make zeros of two comma four, it means it will all kind of x of zeros. If we add to these zeros, so shift plus 100, and then run again, we will have all the element of 100. So we can manipulate it, which tool we can use to create that. Okay, for the second example, we need to create the three by four matrix. The first two rows is zeros and the last is eight, six, four, two. We can write that as y is equal to square brackets. The first two is zeros. So we can write zeros of two rows and four columns. So now we define the first two and then we can put semicolon. It means the third row we can use a column or line space if we use a column the start is eight and it should decrease so we should use the negative increment which is minus two to reach it to two and if we run the section we will have zeros in the first row and eight six four two or we can write for example here that y is equal to again square brackets and then zeros of two comma four so we define the first two semicolon and then line is space and then we can write from the start which is eight and the end which is two and the number of elements four and then run the section we will have exactly the same output And this is the answer for the first one and the answer for the second one. And for the fifth method to create an array, we use the random and random i. For the random and random i, random is very similar to the zeros and one. 
So if we check the random, so random in, it will make a square matrix of n rows and columns. But in this time, in zeros, all elements zeros, in ones, all elements is one. In random, all the number is random between zeros and one. So for example, if we check the first example, if we say a is equal to random of two, so it will create a square matrix of two rows and two columns. All the element is random between zeros and one. And if we check the second one, which is random m and n, it will create a matrix of m rows and n columns, and it is random number between zeros and one. In the second example, the B is equal to random 3, 2. It means creating three rows, two columns, and all the number is random between zeros and one. And if we check the random I, random I is random, but random integer. Integer, it means the number without any decimal point. So random I is take run and I, and random i is, 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 in this case, have a many cases, so please focus. If we use the random i and we put one number, which is i maximum, this is very different from the zeros, ones, or random. Because in this sense, they will create scalar, not a square matrix. And it will create a scalar with one number, only one number. It is integer number between zeros and i maximum. So i max inside random i, it is the maximum number to generate the random number between zeros and this i max. For example, if we consider this example, the c is equal to random i of 10. It means that it will create a scalar number, only one random number, and this random number between 0 to 10, any random number. In the second case, where if we need to create the square matrix, so we can say random i of i maximum comma n. In that sense, it will create a square matrix of n rows and n columns, and all are random number between zeros and i max. So if we consider this example, a is equal to random i of 10 and 3. 10 is the maximum number to, to like from 0 to i max, which is means 0 to 10. And uh, the, this square matrix, three rows and three columns. So he creates three rows, three columns, and the, rum, the number inside is random between zeros to 10. And in the third case, if I need to create not a square matrix, but random integer, so I can say random i of i maximum comma m comma n so it will create a matrix of m rows n columns and this is random integer between 0 and i max so if we consider this example in this example e is equal to random i that like the i max is 10 it's two rows and three columns so two rows and three columns and all random number between 0 and i max which is 10. but what if if we need to not make the range between 0 and i max we need to make it from i minimum to i maximum in that sense we we can write here the random i and then the first element is inside the square brackets so open the square brackets i minimum comma i maximum comma m and n so it will create a random number this is from i minimum to i maximum so in that sense, if we check the following example here, we create a random i from minus 2 to 3. This is the range we need to create the number between minus 2 to 3. And this is one row and three columns. So one row and three columns. So the i minimum is minus 2 and i maximum is 3. So let's consider this question this is our last question and it it say that create one by five row vector with a random number so we need to create row vector number of element is six and is random number but this random number it is decimal random number because he doesn't say integer but we need to make this is between 
2 to 5. So the range is between 2 to 5. As we know that the random number is usually from 0 to 1, but here we need to, to create that from 2 to 5. Think a little bit. And let me give you a hint. So if you need to generate a random number, for example, with a size m by n, m rows and columns, in an interval a and b, in that sense, we can say that you can use this formula. So if you write a, which is the start, plus the difference between the maximum and the minimum, it's mean b minus a, multiply to the random number with any size you wish, you will have this things. Let's check that on our live script. So here we need to create this vector with this name, for example, the random vector. We can copy and paste and then say equal to. And in that sense, we need the random number between two and six. So we can say two, as we mentioned, and then plus, and then we can say the five minus two, the end minus the start. All of this multiplied to the random of something. We need to random of the size. How many rows and how many columns is one comma six, and then run so now we will have this kind of a random vectors between 2 to 5 so we can see 4.8 and 2.2 something like that so in range between 2 and 5 and it is like this is decimal numbers which is random numbers between this range so now we kind of understand how to do that So let me give the summary. So today we defined five different ways to create a matrix using the list of number and square brackets, using the column, using the line space, using zeros and one, and random and number i. And please remember that these two, which is the column and line space, only create the vectors, and the others is creating vectors and matrix, except for the i. It's only create the matrix. It can't create the vectors. So I only create a matrix. Colon and line space only create the vectors. The other can create vectors and matrix. That's all. See you. Bye bye.